University Laval is where we are today in search of masters and PhD opportunities. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you're new, thanks for joining us today. Remember to subscribe because I'm sure you would like materials on this channel. So we're looking for fully funded masters and PhD opportunities at this university in Canada. So today we'll be looking at existing opportunities and how to apply for these opportunities. So without any further delay, bring out your pen and paper and let's begin. Let's go. So fortunately at this university, there is a list of programs with funding. So different universities have their different style of funding um, opportunities. So here we have like a, a list of different um, projects and these projects have supervisors and they also have funding. And then we're looking at these different projects and, and we look for the masters and PhD opportunities within these um, projects. So I'll just um, put the link to this website as usual in the description box, but just go straight here to available projects. Now here you can see different departments, see different departments. And then let's say we choose biology, for instance, we choose biology and there is a, this is a project on the biology. Yes, this is in French, but not to worry. There are many programs at this university in English. So since this university is based in the French speaking part of Canada, you have lots of um, French influence here and learning French might not be a bad idea as well because some departments here require you to have like a basic understanding of French. But as we will see, some of them do not really require that for admission. So for instance, this has a French um, heading, but when you click on the link, you see that the project is actually um, basically in English, as you can see. So this is the name of the supervisor, Juan Carlos is the name of the supervisor. And this is a master's opportunity. You can see here, and click on it and you get um, what the scholarship is worth. So for here, there's a financial um, budget for this project of um, 17,000 Canadian dollars for two years. So I think this would fit into your stipend. And there are other small bonuses you receive here as well. And then there is this scholarship for international students, citizens of the world. There are some for Canadians, there are some for international students. So you want to put probably your focus on those for international students because, well, I guess, or I'm, I'm assuming most of you watching these are international students. But if you're Canadian, by all means, um, check out the scholarships for Canadians as well. So you can check this one for international students and see what it covers here. They said 20,000 Canadian dollars. So it's called Citizen of the World Scholarship. So to apply for this, I don't think there is a special application process. I think you're considered automatically if you meet the applications requirement and if you're admitted, you're con um, considered automatically. I think it's written here. There is no forms to fill out for citizens of the World Excellence Scholarships. Recipients are selected based on applications for admission submitted to university level. So you get the gist. So when you see a position like this, try to contact the professor in charge. Usually his email address is down here. So you send like a cold email. We've talked about this several on the channel. So in case you do not know how to send an email to a uh, supervisor or professor, just go straight to my channel, go down to this tap on letter of motivation, statement of purpose, research proposal. There is a video here on how to contact professors for postgraduate opportunities. So usually you send them an email, introduce your academic background, introduce your interest, tell them you are going to apply for this project. And yeah, this is where we are. Tell them you're going to apply for this project and ask them to essentially work under their tutelage. Yeah, this project, for instance, this is the name. I got the English translation is in genomics. So in case you're in biology, probably know, probably know what that means already. 
So you could do this for other projects as well. The admissions requirements are stated here. The deadline as well. This is for September 1st. Here they said you should have a background in forestry, geography, geomatics, biology, environment, and sustainable development. And these are the documents you're meant to provide. It talks about research interest. Why are you interested in this topic in the first place? Letter of recommendation, cover letter, a CV and student transcript. So you could contact this professor, tell him about this opportunity and probably you could attach these documents to it as well. I think if it gives you a go ahead and then you apply for admissions into this department. It's not advisable to apply for admissions if you've not gotten a green light from the professor in the first place. So for more info, contact this professor. So of course, there are other opportunities here, other departments as well. So here I chose um, available research projects. And then you can decide to go to a different department, for instance, let's say chemical engineering. So let's say chemical engineering. Now it's indicated there's master's and PhD opportunities here. Look at the deadline. There's another one down here in August. There's another one here in August as well. So be mindful of their different deadlines. So let's see. So this is the title of the program. This is the description of what is needed. The relevant fields. The name of the supervisor and every other thing. So these are all doctoral programs. So it says here 25,000 for four years, you can see it. So there are other subdivisions as well and what they entail. So you can see here, so read this on your own and see how you can apply. Look at the applications requirements as well. This made reference to particular kinds of languages. Whether you need to know or read French is written here. The contact professor as well is written here. So you want to pay attention to the different applications requirements. So some of them have both masters and PhD opportunities. Some of them are just PhD opportunities or even just masters opportunities. So take note of these indicators here and know exactly what you're applying for. So there are several of them there, several projects there. So the, the fastest thing you could do is just to go through directly to the department that you're interested in. So for instance, if you're interested in maths, just click on maths and see the programs on the maths. And I suggest that you consult this website frequently because probably there'll be new updates as well for new projects as well. So you can get yourself abreast of new funding opportunities and that's it guys engage with other kinds of information on this channel for the sake of this video we can't see everything respect you to engage with this ask particular questions of the department or even the comment section of this video and i hope as usual to see you at the top sooner than later so we cannot wait to celebrate you we're here cheering for you feeding you with all the information you need to excel in your grad school application. So bye-bye for now, and I will see you at the top sooner than later.